sometimes when art becomes too unique, like in this case where it was painted on and who painted it, the public tends to forget about the painting. I tried Googling and all the headlines talked about, of course, the artist and the bag, but there was hardly any mention of the incredible art. And this is not unique. This also happened just recently when Lloyd Dronco created the biggest, the largest abstract painting in our country. They all talked about the billboard size, but again, no one talked about the artwork itself, the messaging itself. Oh, there was like a, just a one line mention what it is about, but there were no critiques, no reviews, no appreciation of the artwork. I did a review, I'll put the link in the description box. This happened again um, when somebody painted on used and sanitized face mask. Again, beautiful artwork, but we were all gushing about, wow, that is good recycling. Can we talk about the artwork itself? And this happened again when an artist came up with incredible artwork using recycled trash. All the articles about it were either how he used the recycled trash or how it's exhibited at Conrad. And that is such a shame. Highlighting the medium is not necessarily wrong when it comes to appreciating art because the medium is also part of the message if it's not the entire message. When you create art on a large billboard, definitely you are shouting, you are screaming your message, you want everybody to hear you. And when you're painting on an expensive, very expensive limited bag, a luxury bag, there's also the message that you are not mortal, you are part of immortals. And when you're painting on a face mask, the message that I'm getting is, Either you're somebody who cares about the environment or you just have very limited resources and were to create your art. And the same goes for Gilbert Angles, who used recyclable materials to create beautiful artwork. The medium is the message, but it doesn't have to be the only message. It can be part of the message. Look at this word. So, Again, it's such a shame if you're just going to say, oh, that's recyclable materials, oh, good for him, and that's it. Because there is art. This is art as well. It's abstract art, and I love abstract art because there's a lot of messages there. Can you find one or two? These are the things that I saw. This reminds me of Clip. Does that Clip? Um, it reminds me of the Golden Cap story when Moses was busy up in the mountains with God, telling him the Ten Commandments, and down below in the valley were the Israelites and Aaron having a pagan party. When we view abstract work, we don't just view it on one angle only, because there's no definite figure there, so we need to look for it. You can look at it from the left, from the right, from above, from below. Any angle that can help us look for narratives, for figures that even the artist himself may not have intended to put there, but he still created it. So from this angle, this is what I saw. Can you make out what it is? I see somebody lying on a red bed. This is the bed. And this is the head. And this is somebody who is probably looking after him. So that is so relevant to our times today. From this angle, this is what I saw. The person facing this way. And this is his monitor. So this is somebody like you watching this YouTube video. This is all of us during this pandemic time when we're all just looking and staring at our screen. I tried looking at it from below. It 
took me some time actually that I finally gave up. I said, I'm not going to force it. If, I, if I'm not seeing anything, I'm not going to force it. And then it was so obvious. It was snowing. Is there a message? It's just fun. Seeing something doesn't always have to have a message. It's, it's, maybe it's, that's all there is. Again, don't just go ooh and ah. Oh, it's made of recyclable materials and that's it. We're saving the environment. There's also a message. Appreciate the art there. It took you know, a lot of time and hard work to just stop at using the recyclable materials. He is still an artist. Uh, one last thing. Do you see a dog there? Do you see it? It's fun looking at abstract art. Don't miss it. And if you're interested in how to create art from recyclable materials, just check out Gilbert Angeles' Facebook. Okay? Especially if you don't know what to, else to do during this quarantine. Making our time productive is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.